Today we're going to check out how to spin some text in After Effects. Okay, so in my situation I went with already pre-made designs in Illustrator and everything is expanded and everything is separated. So basically I separated the upper text into a layer here and we got another layer with the lower graphics and typo. And I saved it in AI file. And now let's go to After Effects. For example, you also can do it a simple text by selecting the Type tool, click and typing in whatever you like. In my situation, I'm going to go here, right click, import multiple files, and I'm going to select the AI file that I created and go to the footage and change it to composition. Click on import and I got to go here and we got the two layers, drag and drop right here i gotta press the letter s to scale it great right click and go to create create shape from vector layer and i'm gonna bring these up delete the vector files and now we have fully editable shape layers great and from here all you need to do is go to the effects and presets type in cylinder and here we got the CC cylinder and I got to go and drag and drop the cylinder to both of the texts. And so far it looks like this. I got to uncheck the bottom one and I got to work with the top one. So I got to go to the rotation and I'm going to start rotating it to see how it looks. And you also have the radius. You can increase it. And I'm going to rotate it just like this. Now I'm going to go and activate the bottom one and I'm going to copy paste the values that I have. I'm going to go and select the 140 radius, control C. I'm going to go to the next type composition and copy paste it in and just copy paste the rest. And look at that. And of course you're overlapping and I'm going to drag this under. So now it's good. And now we're going to animate this. I'm going to go with the bottom one first, basically with the Panther Vision text. And we got here the rotation Y. With this you can rotate it left or right. I'm going to go and activate the stopwatch. I'm going to go to the seven second. And I'm going to type in minus one. And it's rotating. And the other one, I'm going to make it rotate in the opposite direction. So I'm going to select it, activate the stopwatch. Let's go to the seven second. And we're going to need to rotate it backwards. So I'm going to add here to the zero one. Pull this here. There we go. Select both layers. Press the letter U to highlight the keyframes. Select all keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease. So we're going to have a smoother animation. And if I zoom in, you can see we got these huge gaps going on that they are not stretching all the way around the cylinders. So we're going to fix that. I got to go, for example, with the first one. Press the letter S for scale and increase it in order to correct that huge gap. Do the same with the rest. Increase. And there you go. Also, if you want to add some colors, all you need to do is go to effects, type in fill and drag and drop on the text. You can change the color here. And mainly this is it. Thanks for watching.